Throughout time, walls have been built for various reasons. Some walls were built to keep people in, such as the case of the Berlin Wall, but most of the time, it's to keep dangerous people out. The Mongolians were some of the fiercest soldiers and it took a great wall to keep them out. Today, walls exist on many different borders throughout the world, some of which might surprise you. Today we'll be discussing the 12 greatest walls ever built. Number 12. Moroccan Western Sahara Wall Also known as the Berm, this is actually the second longest wall in the world. Not only does it extend through Morocco-occupied Western Sahara, it also goes through the country of Mauritania. The stone walls can measure to be about 10 feet in height. It separates the Polisario rebels to the east and the Moroccan-controlled areas to the west. This essentially divides the region in two. The Sahrawi or Spanish Moroccan people maintained cultural and sovereign independence and the annexation of Western Sahara by the Moroccans wasn't supported by everyone. Algeria took the side of the Polisario or those who controlled the liberation which also helped lead to the development of this wall. It's a complicated history but the bottom line is that peace truly struggled to exist here. The wall is not quite as advanced as some walls on this list but it manages to stretch 1,678 miles long comprised of piled rock and sand. While exploring it on Google Maps, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's a geological formation or not. The wall is guarded with tanks, radar, and over 100,000 soldiers. It's also one of the world's largest minefields with over 700,000 landmines. Number 11. Israel-Egypt Wall On Google Maps, you can zoom in and have clear imaging on many places throughout the world, but as you zoom in on the border of Israel and Egypt, you'll notice things start to get a little bit blurry. Maybe they don't want you to know that there's a huge wall being built here to keep out African migrants? The two countries have never gone along since the creation of the State of Israel and a wall was put in place to keep smugglers and other enemies of the state out of their country. The border between Israel and Egypt is one of the few man-made boundaries visible by space. One of the reasons the land is a different color in Egypt is likely due to a higher level of grazing by animal herders on the Egyptian side of the border. According to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the barrier is meant to secure Israel's Jewish and democratic character. But if America wants to build a wall, it's considered racist. And no, Israel didn't make Egypt pay for the wall in case you're wondering. Number 10. Hadrian's Wall The Romans were starting to get tired of wild British barbarians trying to cross their borders and eventually in AD 122, the Roman Emperor Hadrian built this wall. The wall was constructed out of stone and every 5 Roman miles there would be a fortress which would be used to garrison infantry and cavalry units. It's considered to be the largest Roman artifact anywhere in the world and runs for a total of 73 miles. The height and width of the walls could measure on average 10 feet high to 20 feet high and would include various ditches. Many historians would argue that there wasn't a huge threat from the ancient Britons north of the wall, but it was mainly a display of power and a solidified land that was conquered. There is even some evidence that would support that the wall was even polished and could reflect light as far away as 5 miles. Another wall was constructed even further north known as the Antonine Wall in 142 AD and further land grabbing continued. Number 9. The Atlantic Wall It became rather clear that Germany would be invaded by the Allies from the north during the 1940s. In an effort to halt their efforts, a massive construction project would take place with towers, artillery, radar systems and of course a vast tunnel system with room for thousands of people. This was known as the Atlantic Wall and although it would prove to be ineffective, the walls and the ceilings of these bunkers were made from concrete. This would be known as the Atlantic Wall and although it didn't prove to be effective, it's still around for us to see today. The walls and ceilings of these bunkers were made from concrete and range anywhere from 2 to 5 meters thick. Beachhead artillery ensured destruction of ships across the horizon and the beaches were littered with landmines. In some cases, many tunnels were constructed in an effort to turn whole islands into fortresses. Number 8. Walls of Constantinople Constantinople was founded as the new capital of the Roman Empire and was founded by Constantine the Great or the first Christian Emperor of Rome. Originally, Constantine had built a single wall fortification not from just land attacks but also from naval attacks. After he passed away, the city began to increase in size. Theodosian walls were constructed, making this a heavily fortified double-walled city. These were built during the reign of Emperor Theodosius between 408 and 450. Eventually, they were damaged by earthquakes. In order to keep the Huns from hopping over the walls, they ordered rival chariot teams to repair various sections. The walls measured 60 feet tall and even had a moat that was 20 feet deep. There was further protection by constructing an outer wall and an inner wall, making it a serious fortification to reckon with. It certainly made the Byzantine Empire great again until the 1400s when the Ottomans with cannons arrived at town. 
Eventually, they would conquer the city, rename it Istanbul, and transform the Hagia Sophia into a mosque. Number 7. Spanish Moroccan Wall While many borders in Europe are as easy to cross as playing Red Rover with a group of middle schoolers, the Spanish Moroccan Wall has some serious barriers. Also known as the Quetta Border Fence, or Melilla Border Fence, it's one of the only notable international boundaries built by a European Union country. The Spanish port city of Morocco on the continent of Africa shares a large border with Morocco. This was constructed by Spain in order to prevent illegal immigration and smuggling. An estimated 700 had made it across, and six have actually died due to clashes with Spanish security forces. Spain spent 33 million euros worth of renovations in 2005 and even added more razor wire. Some steps were also made to slow down intruders more peacefully, but it still remains an imposing international border. The height of the fence also increased to be about 20 feet high, since many were still getting over with homemade ladders or fences. Number 6. The Berlin Wall The Berlin Wall was constructed to separate the communist east side controlled by the Soviet Union from the capitalist west side controlled by the European Union. Aside from the Bering Sea, this was the main border between the two superpowers during the Cold War. Anyone living near this 95-mile barrier would likely feel the rise of tension. Often referred to as the Iron Curtain for the Soviets, it was mainly built to keep people in rather than to keep people out. During this period of time, 100,000 people tried to escape with only a 5% success rate. The number of people who were ultimately gunned down is estimated to be between 134 to 200 people. Finally, in 1989, the enforcement of the boundary would end and many parts were torn down. Western parts of the wall were heavily graffitied and much of it still remains as a testament of the history of Berlin. Number 5. Cyclopean Walls Some believe Cyclops were responsible for building large ancient structures such as the walls at Mycenae. As you can tell from the name, this type of fortification implies that the stones were so large that only mythical Cyclops had the strength to move them. The limestones used to make up the walls were extremely heavy and are often compared to pre-Columbian structures such as Saxe Woman. Number 4. Belfast Peace Lines Berlin Wall-type structures were built in the northern Irish city of Belfast to keep peace among the Catholic neighborhoods and the Protestant neighborhoods. The peace lines vary in length anywhere from a few hundred yards to over 3 miles and can measure up to 25 feet high. Gates during the daytime allow for people to cross, but once the sun goes down, you better believe those gates are locked up. Consisting of iron, brick, and steel, they first put it into place in 1969 after some riots broke out, but they proved to be ineffective. This led to wider and taller walls being constructed and can still be seen throughout the city. Number 3. The DMZ Also known as the Korean Demilitarized Zone, the Korean Peninsula is cut in half along the 38th parallel. The 2.5 mile wide border that separates the two nations is one of the most intense international borders in the world. You can feel the tension about to burst at any moment here. Both sides of the Demilitarized Zone are heavily militarized. Despite attempts to keep the two countries from engaging in all-out war, some skirmishes have broken out and tunnels have been found that were built by the North Koreans. This flag here sits on top of the North Korean side is about 524 feet tall and can be seen from the South Korean side. And number 2. Trump's Wall? Border security has obviously been a priority of many different countries throughout time, and many of us probably wouldn't feel safe without a fence around our house, right? The United States-Mexico barrier is a series of so-called fences or walls, which are equipped with cameras, sensors, and border patrol agents. The United States experiences more illegal immigration than any other country in the world, and human trafficking is becoming a part of this whole ordeal. A network of smugglers known as coyotes are paid a certain price to help guide migrants from Central America and Mexico into the United States, anywhere from $4,000 to $10,000 for each survivor once they reach the intended destination. Also, when someone can't make a payment for the coyote services once they reach the US, something very bad might happen to that person. This photo here shows Trump taking a look at new wall prototypes in San Diego in 2018. Trump was originally keen on building a concrete wall, but that would make it a little bit difficult to see through. After thinking about it for a while, they felt as though a steel wall with metal columns would work best. They would also add tubing at the top to prevent the use of rope. Right now, we're still not sure what it's going to look like or when it's going to be built, because the shutdown is still in effect. And before we get to our number one, we'd like to hear what you guys think. Should Trump build the wall or no? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, the Great Wall of China. Also known as the largest cemetery in the world, millions lost their life for this unbelievable landmark that stretches an estimated 4,000 miles. 
That's almost like building a wall from Orlando, Florida all the way to Juneau, Alaska. During the rule of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, he ordered that those who die be burned and buried into the wall. That would be approximately 400,000 people. What would cause the Chinese to build such a great wall, and what kinds of things were they trying to protect themselves from? You would figure these massive mountains would be big enough to keep people from coming in. Many parts of the wall date back to 2,200 years ago, well before the invading hordes of the Mongols. It's believed that one third of the wall simply vanished without a trace, and parts of it are still being discovered. It's built from stone of the mountains, and when it reaches the Gobi Desert, it's made of mud bricks. Many consider it to be the greatest defensive structure ever built. 